Ever wondered who were the first originators of deep house music? This thought-provoking question opens a door into a world where rhythm and bass unite to create a genre that is both enticing and captivating. The story of deep house music, a soulful bass-heavy genre that has softly seeped its way into the heart of nightclubs across the globe, is one filled with innovation, passion and a deep-rooted connection to the rich musical history of the United States. The inception of deep house music can be traced back to the mid-80s, a time when the music scene was ready for disruption. The once popular and vibrant disco era was nearing its end, and the air was thick with anticipation and a growing desire for a fresh, innovative sound. The people were yearning for a revolution, a musical uprising that would redefine the industry, and it was amidst this environment of creative hunger that the magic happened. Deep House music was born, rising from the heart and soul of one of the country's most influential musical capitals, Chicago. Chicago, a city known for its rich cultural heritage and its deep affinity for jazz and blues, had already made an indelible mark on the world's music scene with the birth of house music. The city, with its vibrant nightlife and thriving creative scene, was the perfect incubator for this new genre. It was the innovative DJs and producers of Chicago who set the stage for this revolution, pushing the boundaries of sound and rhythm with daring creativity. These audacious music pioneers took house music, an already popular genre in its own right, and twisted it, molded it, infused it with elements of jazz, funk and soul, and in doing so, they created a sound that was wholly new and unique. This revolutionary fusion of different musical styles gave rise to deep house music, a genre that was as soulful as it was invigorating. At the forefront of this revolution was Frankie Knuckles, a man whose passion for music and innovative approach earned him the title, Godfather of House Music. Along with other groundbreaking DJs like Ron Hardy and Larry Heard, he began to experiment with the tempo and rhythm of house music, slowing it down, layering in more intricate melodies, infusing it with soulful vocals, and creating a sound that was deeper and more emotionally resonant than anything that had come before. He, along with other DJs like Ron Hardy and Larry Heard, began to slow down the tempo and incorporate more complex melodies and soulful vocals, creating a deeper, more emotional sound. By the late 80s, deep house music had started to gain popularity in the UK. This genre, characterized by complex melodies, soulful vocals and a deep, hypnotic bass, was just beginning to make its mark on the ever-evolving music landscape. The roots of Deep House can be traced back to the American Midwest in the early 1980s. Influences from jazz, funk and soul were weaved into the fabric of the sound, but it was the touch of artists like Marshall Jefferson and Mr. Fingers that truly set it apart. Marshall and Mr. Fingers, born Larry Heard, are two pioneers who have left an indelible imprint on the genre. Jefferson, a Chicago native, began his music career as a DJ, but soon turned to producing. His artistry lies in his ability to balance the soulful and the hypnotic, creating tracks that resonate with listeners on a deep emotional level. The track Move Your Body is a perfect example of his genius. Its melodic beats, coupled with powerful vocals, made it an instant and helped cement Jefferson's position in the world of Deep House. On the other hand, Mr. Fingers, known for his experimental style and innovative use of synthesizers, brought a unique edge to Deep House. His track Can You Feel It, with its haunting melody and intricate rhythms, was groundbreaking. This tune pushed the boundaries of traditional house music and ushered in a new era of more sophisticated, deeper sounds. You can't talk about Deep House without mentioning these two artists. They are, in many ways, the founding fathers of the genre. Their music, their creativity and their influence helped to shape Deep House and brought it into the mainstream. Their tracks, like Jefferson's Move Your Body and Mr. Finger's Can You Feel It, are considered some of the first Deep House classics. As the 90s rolled in, Deep House music began to evolve, incorporating elements of garage house and ambient music. This was a time of profound progression in the music industry, a turning point that brought new dimensions to the realm of music. The 90s weren't just years on a calendar, they were an era of transformation, a decade that left an indelible mark on the musical landscape. It was during these vibrant years that a new genre began to emerge from the shadows. A genre that wasn't tied to the mainstream but dared to explore the depths of the soul. This genre was the deep house music, 
a genre that was not only about catchy tunes but also about the human condition. Deep House wasn't just about rhythm and beat, it was about the journey and the destination. It was about the moments that made you feel alive, the moments that you lose yourself in the music. It was about the stories that were told through the sound, the stories that resonated with the listener on a deeper level. It was during this time that new artists began to step forward, artists who dared to experiment, who dared to be different. Among these brave pioneers were names such as Kerry Chandler and Masters at Work, musicians who weren't afraid of pushing the envelope. Kerry Chandler, a dynamic and innovative musician, was known for his unique approach to Deep House music. His work was characterized by its emotional intensity and soulful rhythm. His music was not just about the sound, it was about the feeling, the emotion that was conveyed through each note. On the other hand, Masters at Work, a group known for their distinct style, brought a freshness to the genre. Their music was an amalgamation of different styles, a blend of garage house and ambient music that created a sound that was uniquely their own. This was a period of rapid innovation and creativity, with artists like Kerry Chandler and Masters at Work pushing the boundaries of what Deep House could be. The turn of the millennium saw Deep House music going mainstream. Emerging from the underground scene, it started its journey to prominence through the clubs of Chicago and Detroit. It was around the late 90s when this subgenre of house music, characterized by its complex melodies, heavy bass lines and soulful vocals, began to gain recognition. The transition into the new millennium played a significant role in this process. As we entered the era of digitization, massive shift was felt across multiple sectors and the music industry was no exception. This was primarily due to the rise of digital music platforms that revolutionized the way people listened to and discovered music. Suddenly, it was possible for music from all corners of the globe to be accessed at the click of a button. This technological advancement provided Deep House with the perfect opportunity to expand its reach, venturing beyond the confines of the United States and into international territory. Artists were now able to share their creations with a global audience and Deep House artists seized opportunity. Names like Saint Germain, Miguel Miggs and Lisa Shaw were among the pioneers who found their music resonating with listeners across various continents. These artists, through their innovative compositions and soulful renderings, brought a fresh perspective to Deep House music. Their work captured the raw energy and emotion of the genre, infusing it with their unique styles and personal influences. This allowed them to connect with the audience on a deeper level, leading to Deep House music gaining a cult following. Their success paved the way for the emergence of new artists, further enriching the genre. It was a time of exploration, experimentation and evolution for Deep House music, making it the dynamic and diverse genre it is today. Artists like Saint Germain, Miguel Miggs and Lisa Shaw brought Deep House music to the forefront of the mainstream music scene. Fast forward to today, and Deep House music continues to evolve, with artists blending in elements of techno, dubstep, and even pop music. Artists like Disclosure and Duke Dumont have brought Deep House music to a whole new generation of listeners. In summary, Deep House music, born in the mid-80s in Chicago, has grown and evolved over the decades, incorporating various musical elements along the way. Pioneers like Frankie Knuckles, Ron Hardy and Larry Heard were instrumental in its creation, while artists like Marshall Jefferson, Mr. Fingers, Kerry Chandler and Masters at Work played significant roles in its evolution. The genre went mainstream in the new millennium thanks to artists like Saint Germain, Miguel Miggs and Lisa Shaw and continues to evolve today with artists like Disclosure and Duke Dumont. Deep house music, with its soulful vocals, complex melodies and heavy bass lines has truly made its mark on the global music scene and it owes its existence to the creativity and innovation of a handful of Chicago DJs and producers. Their legacy lives on in the deep house music we know and love today.